Japanese manufacturer Sony has decided it needs a fresh start with its smartphone line and I have to say I can completely agree with them. With its successor to the XC2 Premium, the Xperia 1, Sony has been really daring with this one and not only in the form factor. I'm David for Android Pit and this is Hands On with the Sony Xperia 1. At first glance, one thing is immediately noticeable about this phone. It's thin and it is long. It's the first Android smartphone to come in a 21 by 9 format, and that's not such a stupid idea as it might sound. For a start, the smartphone is comparatively slim and easy to hold, and secondly, the split screen feature in portrait mode has a really nice feel to it. But who even uses split screen on this smartphone in 2019? I certainly don't. If you're a split screen user, let me know in the comments below. It's not only the aspect ratio that's ready for a cinema experience. There's also an HDR OLED display with a 4K resolution. On paper, this may sound wonderful, but after our first hands-on impression, at least, the panel doesn't really stand out from the other flagships on the market. The workmanship and the material mix here is just as convincing as on any older Xperia's. Gorilla Glass 6 sits above the display and on the back. The 8.2mm thick case is held together by an aluminium frame. Under the hood is Qualcomm's latest chip, the Snapdragon 855. It comes with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of flash storage. A micro SD slot is also included. On the back, Sony has slapped on its new triple camera, comprised of three 12 megapixel lenses. The Japanese company here relies on a setup featuring an ultra wide angle lens, a regular wide angle lens, and a telephoto lens, all of which have an optical image stabilizer. The fact that it's possible to take up to 10 photos per second with continuous adjustment to the focus and level of exposure is quite remarkable. The camera app is still very unfinished, but it already features some old acquaintances such as Super Slow Motion and the AR Dinosaurs. I find the eye focus borrowed from Sony's Alpha series rather pointless. It is simply superfluous with smartphone cameras because of the high depth of field. In addition to the normal camera app, there's a special professional video app called Cinema Pro. This has been developed in collaboration with the guys behind the Sony Venice cameras, you know, the ones that James Cameron is using for the Avatar sequels. The interface is slick and various recording parameters such as frame rate, focal length and shutter angle can be set. In addition, there are also a number of different looks or filters, so to speak, that can be applied. Unfortunately, the sound can't be leveled yet, at least not with our pre-launch device. Sony relies on Android Pie for the operating system. The new feature here is the Game Enhancer, which blocks incoming calls and thus allows for an undisturbed play session. What's also cool is that there is now a recording function for games, which even allows you to capture via the selfie camera and microphone, so you can comment on the gameplay. Finally, the battery has a capacity of 3330mAh and supports Sony's power delivery chargers. The quick charging power supply is included in the box, just as it should be. But that's the least you'd expect from a smartphone that's going to cost 950 euros when it launches in Europe later this year. The good thing here though is that Sony is taking risks again. It's trying new things, it's taking chances, and I really like that elongated form factor. Some of the features, however, like the eye focus, seem a bit like marketing speak to me. We're going to have to wait until we get our full review device before we can check out this properly. I've been David for Android Pit. This has been the Sony Xperia 1 hands-on. If you like this video, leave us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for all the latest news.